you guys see a sum and difference for whenever you see a trigonometric function of the sum or difference, just apply the formula. Okay? Just apply the formula. So you guys can see here we have u and v. And u and v are different. The only difference between them is we have an addition and subtraction, which all that tells me is I need to use a different formula. Would everybody agree with me? Okay. So first thing we do is we're going to do this formula over here. So this is going to be the sine of x cosine of pi over 6 plus the sine, I'm sorry, cosine of x sine of pi over 6. So what I just did is I did the sum and difference formula for that. Okay. Now, the next, it's minus. I got to make sure, though, I'm subtracting the whole thing. So I'm going to put this in brackets. I'm going to include brackets so I don't forget something. Or right, don't forget I'm subtracting that. Now I'm going to do the sum and difference here, which would be sine of x cosine of pi over 6 uh, minus cosine of x sine of pi over 6 and brackets equals 1 half. Okay? The reason why I want to do brackets is because you're subtracting this whole thing. So, okay? And what's important about that is if I'm going to remove that bracket, what I mean, what I need to do then is make sure I distribute this negative to both of these terms. Would you guys agree with me? Okay, so I can get rid of the brackets. I just need to make sure that that's positive and this is negative. And then I'll get rid of the brackets. Yes. All I did was apply distributive property with that negative. I distributed the negative to both of them. So that made that negative and that positive. Now, what I notice here is these two terms are exactly the same. One's positive and one's negative. Right? And then over here, I have these two terms are exactly the same. What's x plus x? 2x. So what do you think cosine x sine of pi over 6 would be plus cosine of x pi over sine of pi over 6 would be? 2 cosine of x sine of pi over 6. So we do 2 cosine of x sine of pi over 6 equals 1 half. Now, the sine of pi over 6 is going to be close. One half. Yes. It doesn't. Sine of pi over six goes to one half. Look at the inner circle. Now, what's one half times two? Now we have cosine of x equals one half. So what angles, and again, I, I forgot to mention, this is finding all the angles between 0 and 2 pi. What are all the angles when cosine of x is equal to 1 half? Pi over 3, is that the only one? And? Yes. So why isn't it 2 1 pi over 6? Why is it what? No, 2 pi sine over 6. <coughs> I mean, no, 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 no. 2 sine pi over 6. So it's 2 sine 1 pi over 6. 2 sine pi over 6. He's saying because there's 2 sine pi over 6. Right here? Yeah. Yeah, but they, those, that's positive and that's part. negative. The other part. Yeah. Yeah, so it's 2 cosine. It's one term. Think of them like as an x. Why yes. Why did you get rid of sine root on the two cosine of I didn't. Well, because sine of pi over 6, what is that equal to? Okay, we're done. One half. Sine of pi over 6, see, that is one half. So I didn't get rid of it. I mean, I did get rid of it, but I just evaluated 